Steven Tyler, 75, is one of the most recognizable lead singers in the history of rock music. The talented artist, who recently made headlines for being accused of sexually assaulting a woman he allegedly dated 50 years ago, when she was 16 years old, has been leading Aerosmith since the early 1970s. During his rise to the top with the band, he was married twice and enjoyed many romances. He was also rumored to have dated some women, but the relationships were never officially confirmed. Sarinda Fox Sarinda Fox was Stephen's first wife. The former lovebirds were married in 1978, eight years after he officially started making music with Aerosmith. Sarinda was a ex-Warhol model at the time of the marriage, and was previously married to the New York Dolls lead singer David Johansson. The couple welcomed Stephen's second child, daughter Mia Tyler, in 1978. Their marriage lasted until 1987 and Sarinda went on to write a memoir ten years later called Dream On, Living on the Edge with Stephen Tyler and Aerosmith. It was all about her time with Stephen. Sarinda died from a brain tumor in 2002. Teresa Barrick Stephen's second wife was clothing designer Teresa Barrick, whom he was reportedly introduced to by her twin sister, Lisa Barrick. Stephen and Teresa first met when he was still married to Sarinda, but after that marriage ended, they began dating each other. They married in 1988 and had daughter Chelsea Tyler a year later. They also had son Taj Tyler in 1991. After many years of marriage, the couple announced they were separating due to personal problems in 2005. Their divorce was finalized almost a year later, in January 2006. Amy Preston Stephen reportedly began dating his assistant Amy Preston, who is 39 years younger than him, around 2014, but they didn't go public with their romance until 2016. It was reported that they moved in with each other at a house in Nashville, TN, that same year. Since they went public, they have attended various events together, including Stephen's Grammy's viewing party in 2022. They posed on the carpet of the event, with Stephen rocking a long black coat over a white button top and black and white patterned pants, and Amy in a sparkly blue dress with silver stars. Other notable relationships. In addition to his two marriages and long-term relationship with Amy, Stephen has been romantically involved with various partners over the years. He was reportedly high school sweethearts with Michelle Overman at Roosevelt High School in Yonkers, New York in the 1960s and also reportedly dated groupie Deborah Benson and socialite Lynn Collins that same decade. Before he married Sarinda, he had a reported encounter with Boston, Ma Radio personality Max Ansar Tori. He also briefly dated fashion model Bebe Buell and they welcomed his first child, daughter Liv Tyler in 1977. At the time of Liv's birth, Bebe claimed singer Todd Rundgren was the father to protect her baby from Stephen's drug addiction, but the truth eventually came out in 1991, when Liv changed her last name from Rundgren to Tyler. In 1975, Stephen became the guardian of 16-year-old groupie, Julia Holcomb, the same woman who accused him of sexual assault around that time in 2023. He reportedly persuaded her parents to become her guardian and they ended up dating and living together in Boston from 1975 until 1978. During this time, it's also been rumored that Stephen dated costume designer and actress Brenda Cooper. He went on to have an encounter with Carol Miller in the late 1970s, according to her memoir Up All Night. My Life and Times in Rock Radio It was rumored Stephen had an affair with singer and dancer Joe jo Lane in the 1980s, and from 2002 until 2005, years after both of Stephen's marriages, he was romantically linked to other various women, including model Justina Crosslin singer Carly Simon, Russian model Olga Gamanova, and Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger's daughter, Elizabeth Jagger.
he ended up having a long-term relationship with E.